But infrastructure is more than physical plants. It's technology. Today, it's possible to offer every student advanced placement courses, specialized instruction, and master teachers regardless of location. Through the use of multi-channel and satellite programming from ETV, we can link every school with state-of-the-art technology that opens the doors to 21st century jobs. Just think what it would mean if every high school had interactive access to highly specialized courses taught at the Governor's School for Science and Math. Imagine the possibilities of making our best and our brightest teachers available to every school. Computers, laser discs, and interactive video, while well, they are the blackboards of tomorrow. Dr. Nielsen, in partnership with business, has developed a state, a state technology plan for every school in South Carolina. The Education Department's plan suggests that telecommunication links, video resources, and teacher training are the building blocks for school technology. These things are possible, ladies and gentlemen. And as they say in school, it's show and tell time. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Tammy Craig, who teaches business at the Blackville Hilda High School. She and eight of her students are with us live, and I say live, from the Tape Delay Center there. Good evening, Ms. Craig. Good evening, Governor, and welcome to Blackville Hilda High School. Ms. Craig, it seems with the new technology that we have available to us, that there's so many opportunities for our young children to be able to reach out and touch lives unlimited possibilities all across the world. Tell me, what does this mean for you as a teacher? Well, Gavin, it means an awful lot to us. As you know, in many rural communities, many children do not have access to computers. And some students from disadvantaged families would never have access to computers unless they were in the classroom. Just because you're from a rural area or from a disadvantaged family does not mean that you're limited in learning. These students see the opportunity to learn skills that they will need in the future to get good jobs. Let me introduce you to two students. This is Keith Hare and Ebony Rivera. And Governor, if you would check your email, you will see that they have sent you a message. Keith and Ebony, thank you. Let me check my email. I do have email, and this is live. The email says, how do you think computers will impact work in the classroom? Well, let me tell you, and forgive my typing skills. There. <laughs> and if I can do it, any child in South Carolina can do it. <laughs> what I've typed to the children that are reading it now live is you will be able to access the world's information and be able to meet new teachers and make new friends with just the push of a button. Ms. Craig, students. Thank you for what you do in South Carolina. And I am hopeful that we will provide you with the technology, the telecommunications, the satellite transmission, the video hookups, all the things that you need to be able to do a better job. Thank you for being with us this evening. Thank you, Governor. We have the technology to do this. What we have lacked is the commitment. And tonight, I ask you to make this commitment by putting $20 million to the first phase of our plan to give every child in South Carolina access to real, equal educational opportunities. And
And I ask, I ask that you commit to a 100% computer and satellite hookup just within four years.